morning, everybody. Well, that's a bit strange, isn't it? So here I am, stood in school, in the hall, and as you can hear, it's really echoey. And it's supposed to be assembly, and nobody's here. No teachers, there's no teaching assistants, there's no children. Nobody is here. But, I thought we could still have an assembly. So this week's theme is all about being kind, being thoughtful, being grateful. So make sure you listen and see whether you can do all of those things as your task for this week. As we start a new term, a very strange new term, at home, with home learning. So just have a listen and then see if you can do it this week. Catch you in a little while. So, as we're all thinking about being grateful, being kind and being thoughtful, we also need to remember all the difference that you are making by staying at home and all of these adults that are having to stay at home at the moment. If we're all keeping up with our social distancing and we're only going out when we need to go out, we are making a huge difference. As everybody keeps saying, if we stay at home, we can protect the NHS and we can save lives. So only the people that are out and about should be the key workers, people who are doing essential jobs to keep our country going. So while we're thinking about those people, we also need to be grateful because all of those people are putting themselves at risk by going out each and every day and making sure that the whole country is still working. So that includes the medical staff, the hospital staff, people who are selling food and making food and all the shopkeepers that are managing to stay open, all the people who are delivering our post and there's the police officers, the fire officers the special constables, the ambulance people, people who are picking up the bins and making sure that all of our waste is thrown away safely and carefully, people in food banks, and of course, all of our school staff. And there are many more. So we do need to be thinking about them. And we need to make sure that we're being kind to one another. Be kind to your brothers and sisters. I know they might annoy you, but try to be kind to them as much as possible. And don't forget about those adults in your house. Look after them. They need as much attention as you do. So if you're allowed to, because they're staying at home with you and not going out, give them plenty of hugs. Hugs are really important at the moment. So make sure you're doing it. And think about those people who are going out to work and give them a clap on Thursdays at eight o'clock if you're still up. Make sure you're there giving your support and share. Share as much as you can and talk about how you're feeling and what you think is going on. You can also spend time being thoughtful. Make sure that you message your grandparents or your aunties or other relatives over the internet. Use things like Zoom or Skype or FaceTime, but only with your parents' permission and make sure they're included. You could be sending letters and postcards. The post people are still delivering things. Or send texts or even ring them on the phone. Use social media wisely. Send them pictures, send them photos, send them videos and send some to school as well. We'd love to see what you are all doing because it keeps us all in touch with one another and that's really important. So here we are at the first week of our home learning and We've created a new part of the website so that there are lots of exciting things for you to do. And I'll send the link through to your parents in a little while so that they can then get onto them. And the people who are in school still will be doing them as well. But think about those people who are doing so much for you while you are still staying safe at home. Do the activities on the home learning, get involved with what we're doing, send pictures of what you're doing, send us some work if you want to, and don't get bored. It's really important. Read as much as you possibly can. Really go for it. And why not help around the house? I'm sure your parents would really appreciate it. So keep fit and healthy. Make sure you're exercising and keeping up with your own mental health. And have a great first week. And don't give up.
Tried hard to settle down 